Hello YouTube, it's Saki from Simoto Photo. Welcome back to the channel. Look what I've got my hands on today. A Triumph Speedmaster 1200. This is one I've been looking to get my hands on for a while actually. I've ridden the bobber a few times but never the Speedmaster. So I'm looking forward to feeding back to you guys what my thoughts are on this bike. So without wasting any more time, come on we'll go for a ride and I'll tell you what I think, alright? Triumph Speedmaster. This is a bit different. <laughs> I've actually never ridden anything quite like this, to be honest. As per usual, I've been doing uh, a couple, a couple hours on it already. Totally different bike from what I've ever, from what I imagined. It's like, it's so cool, man. <laughs> it's such a cool bike to ride. It's, you, you, I mean, you don't. It's just the type of bike that you want to sit on. And just relax and just enjoy the ride. It's so smooth and the seat on it is super comfortable. Your legs are out, you, you've got you've got kind of forward pegs on the bike and but they're not you know they're not right out there forward but your legs are, are, are definitely um, in front of you. Your your feet are in front of your knees. But it suits the bike. It's got these uh, what we call beach bars. So the bars are swept back and they come back towards you. So you know you're sitting back in the bike and the bars come back towards you. And you're literally just sitting as if you were sitting in your armchair in the house. It's so comfortable. And um it's got such a classic style about it. You know, it's right out of the 50s. It's got um, you know, really a timeless look about it. It's it, it, when I when I got on the bike at first, you know, I, just before I, got, I had to stand and look at it and just take it in. I love the colour scheme on the bike. It's got a split coloured tank, and it looks really cool. You know, it's it's typical Triumph quality as well. You look at this little sort of Triumph and bossed onto your your handlebar clamp, and the detail in the petrol tank. You know, Triumph motorcycles and bossing around that that little fuel cap with the the lock sort of hidden underneath this little flap that you, you move to the side. It's the, the engine's all done in beautiful. Listen, I've got off the bike right and I'll take you around the bike and I'll let you see it in all its glory um, when, I, when we have a little chat about the spec and things of the bike. But, you know, from a rider's point of view, it's just a completely different experience to what I'm used to. It, I, you don't want to ride it fast. It seems a shame to ride it fast. It's, it's, you know, they say that it's not about, it's not about the destination, it's about the journey and it's 100% true with this. It's a real experience to ride it. Um, it's like it's taking you along on a journey, you know, a journey through time, you know, taking you, reaching out from the past and just taking you back there again. It's like, I know I'm mumbling a lot of rubbish, but honestly, I, it's so nostalgic riding this bike. I never thought it'd be like this to ride, because I've ridden a bobber, and a bobber's a whole different experience from this. This is just coolness personified. And yet I found the bobber's quite, it's quite, it feels quite harsh when you're on it, the suspension, and I think a lot of that's got to do with the seat, has got very little padding on it, because this is pretty much the same setup, but the seat, because it's such a big cushiony seat, it feels a lot more comfortable, not just the padding around your backside, but it seems to absorb a lot of the bumps as well through the through the seat. It's, it's really lovely to ride. The gearbox on the bike is just, it's like, it's so slick. It's, it, you know, it's almost perfect when you click it into gear. There's, a, there's, a, there's like a little mechanical click when it goes into gear and it just, it just feels amazing. The bike's got cruise control. So, you know, if, if you want to just, um, stick the cruise on and, and, and go, go a little trip down the motorway then you know, it's great to have that feature, just this little button here, you click it on it goes and, and away you go when I was coming along the motorway to this section of the road I was maybe doing about 70 miles an hour and because of the way you're sitting you know, you're sitting back into the seat and your arms are kind of 
just right out and sitting big in front of you. The wind catches your body like a sail. You know, last week I done a, a ride on the speed trip, the speed twin, and you're you're kind of you're kind of pulled forward and your head's into the wind. But this you're sitting right back, so your body acts as a sail. And I've seen a lot of people that have fitted screens to these bikes, and they look really nice. You can get you can get totally clear screens. It hardly looks as if it's got a screen on, but I think it would be really useful if you were planning and doing any motorway motorway miles on the bike. I think it would make the ride a lot more pleasant on a motorway but for roads like this on the back roads when you're just pottering along enjoying the scenery taking in the smells you know, it's the start of spring today and boy oh boy it's been a long time coming and to enjoy a nice lovely spring day on board this guy is just a pleasure what a bike it's absolutely beautiful it's got, it, it's got the 1200 high torque version of the engine in this bike so you know you've got about 76 77 horsepower I'll, st I'll, I'll stick up on the screen I'll tell you about it when we, we go around the bike and I'll look at the, the, the spec sheet on it uh, but it's got 106 newton meters of torque but it's the way it delivers the torque it's so low down the, 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 the power delivery comes in it's such a low uh, part of the rev range it's like you know listen to that it sounds gorgeous. I love the noise of these parallel twin engines. I've really, I've really grown to love not only these but the 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 T-plane triples. See the engines that Triumph are turning out at the minute, they're spectacular, and this is no exception. That the the high top version of the 1200 parallel twin is gorgeous to ride. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at that view. Sitting here in my Speedmaster cockpit, looking at the epic views in front of me it's just amazing what a day what a day what a bike so there we have it the speedmaster just look at this bike look at the style of it i love the style of the tank this little triumph embossed sort of logo on the tank with the, the, the sort of steel framing around it it looks fantastic it's really really nice the white background as well it just looks quality i love the way the bars are on the bike the beach bars it's totally different from anything else the seat's really comfortable, it's so plush and soft and you've got this kind of little lumber bit at the back that you can actually feel that sort of, sort of sticking into your back a wee bit, just sort of holding you in place and you've got a big uh, rear pillion seat as well with pegs here, if, so if you want to take someone out in the bike there's plenty of room for them to get their, their leg over it and sit on it with a little grab rail at the back just to give them a bit of kind of added uh, comfort You've also you can get racks and things like that for the back of them as well and you've got these kind of like, like really old school bits and pieces on the bike you've got like mushroom grips on the bike you know this kind of old school petrol petrol flap everything's really kind of proper old school about it you get this bucket for the headlight at the front again little details on it just take it back to old school looking the mudguard's got a kind of ridge line that runs all the way up and down the centre of the, the, the mudguard at the front. Um, it just looks tremendous. It's a really, really cool looking bike. You've got the parallel twin engine in the bike, and this engine's the, the high torque version, and it, and it sort of marks it on the it marks it on the ta on the engine itself, 1200 HD. This is a high torque version of the engine. So the engine's putting out about, oh, in fact, I'll tell you exactly what it's putting out. It's putting out 76.9 horsepower. So 77 horsepower, and that's at 6,100 RPM. So the, the, the horsepower comes in lower down the rev range in this bike than it does in the, in the high performance versions, like the speed twin and things like that. And it's got 106 Newton meters of torque. And that 100, 106 Newton meters of torque comes in at 250 revs less than the high performance version. You've got your key ignition, it's just in the side here, and you've got what well, these are, are meant to sort of mimic old school carburetors. They look like old school carburetors, but uh, obviously it's a fuel injection system that's on the bike. But you know, you're getting that really sort of really classic, modern classic look, but you're getting really, really nice, reliable, modern technology on the bike as well. You've got two modes on the bike, you've got rain and you've got road mode. So if you're out and it's a kind of greasy day, you can dial down your fueling just by hitting the mode button. The bike's also got cruise control on it as well. You've got a, you've got a single sort of uh, 
speedometer in the centre. I would have preferred it if it had analogue clocks. I think it would have fitted better with the overall look of the bike. However, it's off the bobber platform and it's got this exactly the same as the bobber. There's a little LCD screen at the bottom and it gives you some more information. You can scroll through and you can get various bits and pieces of information in there as well. Trip computer and things like that in it. Uh, and your fuel gauge is also built into that little section as well. You've got twin discs at the front, they're 310mm and you've got these Brembo calipers, twin pot calipers on it. And the brakes are actually really good on the bike. The, they're adjustable, the levers are adjustable. Both the clutch and the brake lever are adjustable and there's really good feel. Um, the, the brakes are, are absolutely fine on the bike, you won't have any problem with the brakes. The back brakes are single 255mm disc and that's a Nissan caliper that's on that. The handlebars are the handlebars are 910 millimeters wide and the seat height in the bike 705 millimeters. So 705 millimeters is really low. As you can see I'm six foot, I've got a 32 inch, inch inside leg and I've got a proper bend in my leg when I'm sitting on this. I've got plenty of purchase on the ground. The rake's 23 and a half degrees so that gives you you know really good stability on the road and also you know this tank here You've got a 12 litre tank, so it's not the biggest tank in the world, but you'll get 60 mils per gallon out of this engine, 55 to 60 mils per gallon out of the engine. So you've got a good bit of range in the tank with your, with your 12 litres. So the weight of the bike's 263 kilograms. So it is a bit of a brute. It's 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 not overly heavy, but it is there is a bit of weight to it. But I think that adds to its stability and its and its cruisability. It's just really, really nice, a really nice place to sit. You've got 47 millimetre show of forks on the bike and the forks actually feel quite nice. The shock on the bike is a single shot mono shock at the back and it's under the seat to make it look as if it's almost like a hard tail. And, and the bobber setup, I, I found it was quite, quite firm, but for some reason it doesn't feel as firm on this bike and it must be to do with this uh, big cushiony seat is maybe taking quite a bit of the bumps away. But it actually feels quite plush when you're sitting on it. You've got LED lighting all round as well, another modern touch. You've got LED indicators, you've got an LED daytime running light, you've got LED rear lights. Um, and do you know what? The service intervals on the bike are every 10,000 miles. So if you're doing a bit of mileage on the bike, 10,000 miles service intervals is actually quite cool. And also your valve service is every 20,000 miles. So all in all, it's not an expensive bike to own, but it's a beautiful bike to own. So you've got <coughs> you've got spoke wheels and they're chrome spoke wheels and you've got si they're 16 inch and you've got these Avon Cobra tyres which are fantastic for cruising great superb and they look they look superb as well you know I, I think it's funny when you when you when you see all the different uh, people that come into the shop and they're on their, their you know different stages of their motorcycle journey and you know for guys getting their first motorbikes and then they're, they're trying to establish you know what type of motorcycle they they, they, they they like what genre you know they, they, they can levitate to the most and then you get guys that have been doing it you know quite a while and they're you know, they've maybe worked their way up to a, a kind of newer bike and they're really enjoying experimenting with different bikes, you know, different newer, newer bikes as well. And then you get the older guys that have been at it for years and they've always got two or three bikes stashed away. And and I think, you know, I think that's, the, that's what I'm getting to at this stage in life, you know. I'm approaching 50, a couple of years to go to hit my 50s, but I seem to buy a bike now and just want to keep a hold of it. And I'd love a cruiser style motorcycle for the, the stable and last year I was looking at different types of Harleys and things like that but do you know what? This is a real contender this is a bike you could have in the garage and on a lovely day like today you just take it out go for a bimbo and just love life Well thanks for coming along on the ride with me in the Speedmaster I, I really enjoyed that I really enjoyed riding this today if you've liked the video please like give it a like Drop your comments, let me know what colour you'd go for if you were having one of these. Let me know if you've got one. Tell me about it, what, how you enjoying it. Um, and if anybody wants to buy me a coffee, feel free, there's a link in the description. Or if you want to contribute to some fuel for doing these, these rides um, and doing the reviews on them. But listen, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for tuning in to Saimoto Photo. Have a cracking week and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take it easy, man.